श्री कनकमेडल रवींद्र कुमार Thank you, Deputy Chairman Sir, for giving this opportunity. In the Conference of Parties 26 held in Glasgow, the Honourable Prime Minister of India has given five commitments, which are termed as Panchamitri by the government. The bill aims at giving shape to these commitments given by the government at COP26 conference held in 2021 in Glasgow. Those commitments are. India will reach a non-fossil energy capacity to 500 GW by 2030. India will meet 50 percent of its energy requirements, renewable energy by 2030. India will reduce the total projected carbon emission by 1 billion tons from now onwards till 2030. By 2030, India will reduce the carbon intensity of its economy by less than 45 percent and by the year 2070, India will achieve the target of net zero. The government claims that the Pachamit <coughs> will be an unprecedented contribution of Indian climate action. But climatic change deals under with environmental loss, which can be formed under entry 97 list, uh, I mean entry 97 and list 1, but not under entry 38 and class 3. But the Ministry of uh, Environmental and Forestry is the, is the proper other body, I mean, uh, to moderate it and, and to organize it. This bill seeks to mandate the use of non-fossil sources, including biomass and ethanol for energy, and feedstock along with the use of green hydrogen and green ammonia. It also proposes to enhance the scope of energy conservation building code and bring large residential buildings within the ambit of energy conservation region. This bill brings clarity regarding the building where the energy building conservation code is applicable. If the government includes the definition of building in terms of extent the area extent of, of the building, it would have brought much clarity. It requires more uh, uh, clarification as to be given in the enactment. This bill brings to new con two new concepts to the principal act, which was enacted in the year 2001, carbon credit certificate and carbon credit rating scheme. Sir, there is new concept of carbon market. I have a very serious apprehension for which I am seeking a detailed clarification from the Honorable Energy Minister. This is a new concept incorporated in this bill. I reasonably apprehend that this amendment bill is designed with the sole objective to facilitate the carbon trading. I draw your attention to one thing. It is very interesting to note the meaning of carbon trading or carbon market. It is not defined in the bill. This may strong objection. I could understand what is the carbon trading. The carbon trading is a system of countries meeting the national carbon dioxide reduction by buying carbon credit as earned when a firm funds a project for a technology that is less polluting than the other options. For example, carbon emission is less polluted from the gas-based power plants than the diesel-based. I would like to know whether the amount of carbon saved in this credit this is why information of my knowledge, here in this bill, I would like to ask, uh, clear, seek clarification from the Honorable Minister. Was the carbon trading or the carbon credit scheme explained? Nothing is being explained in the enactment. Sir, Section 2DB in the definition clause or the explanation clause for the carbon credit trading scheme. It means a scheme for the direction of carbon emission notified by the central government under Clause W of the Section 14. In a section 2DB, it is stated it will be specified class W of section sub 14. What section 14W says? It says the central government may, in consultation with the Bureau of Energy, efficiency specify the carbon <coughs> credit scheme. In the section 13, it is also explained in section 13 sub class TE, the Bureau of Energy Efficiency has the power to recommend to the central government and the requirements to be specified in the carbon credit scheme. What are the requirements to be explained or incorporated in the carbon credit scheme will be recommended by the Bureau of Energy Efficiency. Section 14W will explain this specify a scheme and definition says it will be as per Section 14W. Though the government has fixed a target to reach non-fossil energy capacity to 500 GW by 2030, whether it is achievable or not, it remains to be seen in the coming days in a reply uh, to a parliamentary question number 1085, the Honorable Minister has stated 
that uh, as on 36 2022 it, it has installed capacity of 160.92 gigawatts of renewable energy this includes 57.71 gigawatts solar power 40.79 gigawatts wind power 10.68 gigawatts uh, bio power 4.89 gigawatts small hydro power and 46.85 gigawatts large hydro power further projects 74.76 gigawatts capacity are under various stages of implementation moreover 23.1 gigawatts capacity are under various stages of binding bidding all these come together 250.258.82 gigawatts the remaining 241.18 gigawatts has to be achieved within a period of 8 years though the government has fixed a noble task its achievement depends upon the government's efforts and dedication with regard to the carbon trading certificate is concerned there is no regulatory Thanks. body in the act please conclude a regulatory body should be established to regulate the carbon credit certification in the open market with few submissions i uh, extend my heartfelt thanks to the this honorable chairman for giving this opportunity i request the honorable minister to look into this compound and clarify the issue thank, thank you ravindra kumar ji now i request dr lakshmina lakshmi kant vajpay